Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a typing animation using animation nodes. And yes, there are add-ons that let you do this pretty easily, but animation nodes are really cool, so that is what we're going to be using today. First off, to get animation nodes, you need to head over to the link down in the description, and this will bring you to a Graphic All website. On the left side, you will see a bunch of different tabs. Click on the one that says Animation Nodes for Blender 2.83. Make sure you select the one that you need, either for Linux, Mac, or Windows, and then click on the green download button on the top. Once you have it downloaded, you can go back over to Blender, and to install an add-on, you need to go over to Edit, down to User Preferences, then underneath the Add-ons tab, click Install. Make sure you don't extract the Animation Notes folder, that it's still in the zip folder, and then navigate to it, select it, and then click Install. And now if you've done all that correctly, we should be able to see the animation nodes if we come over to this menu and click on animation nodes or you can see the shortcut is Shift F3. And here it is. Let's go back over to the 3D viewport and get started with this tutorial. So first off, since we're creating a typing animation, we're going to need some text. I'm going to press X to delete the default cube and then press Shift A and we will add in some text down right here. We can rotate this text 90 degrees along the X axis so it's sitting upright. And we don't need to type anything. We're gonna be doing that in the Animation Nodes tab. So let's start creating it. I'm gonna go over to the top right corner and click and drag this out and then switch this over to the Animation Nodes tab. I'm also gonna press N to close off that panel and give it a new node tree. Once we click new, you won't see anything at the moment and that is because we need to add all of the nodes manually. The first note that we will add is a text object output to actually use this text in our scene. I'm going to press Shift A and then underneath the text, click on Object Output. And we'll place that right there. To actually use this text, we can click on this little eyedropper tool right there and select the text. And there we go, it's now in our object output. From here, we can add in some different nodes and import that into this text socket and this will change what the text says. I'm going to press Shift A and then underneath text, we're going to add in a trim node right here. We'll place that there. Then take the text and plug that into the text. To actually change what this text looks like, we need to click on this button on the side right there and now you can see it's gone. But if we were to type in something here, let's type in the word Blender, now we can see this in our scene. Now we can't see the ER at the end and that is because the end is set to 5, so it's only displaying 5 characters. If we bring this up to seven, now we can see the full thing. To actually control this end value so it's animated, we can press Shift A and then underneath animation, we can click on time info and we'll place that here. If we take the frame number and plug that into the end of the trim text, we'll restart the animation and play this, you can see it types out the word Blender. So what this is doing is it's taking the frame number and for every frame, it's adding one character. So you can see on frame 1, it only has 1. On frame 2, it has the L, the E, the N, and the D, and so on. If we restart the animation on frame 1, we can see the B right there. We don't want this. We want there to be no text visible at the start, and then it types it out. To do this, we need to add in a delay node. I'm going to press Shift A, and then underneath animation, click on delay, and we'll place that here. This delay value controls which frame number it starts on. So let's say I bring this up to 15 and then we press the spacebar, you can see at frame 15, it starts to type in the text. And there we go, we now have a text animation. But there is a lot more things that we can do with this. First off, how do we change the speed of how fast it types? We can do this using a math node. I'm gonna press Shift A and then go over to number, down to math, and we'll place that here. This multiply value is making it go much faster. Instead of multiplying it, we want to divide it. So I'm going to switch this over to divide, and now this number controls how many frames it will be per character. So if I bring this up to four, for every four frames, there will be one character. I'm going to press the spacebar, and you can see that happening. If you want it faster, you can set this down to two. So for every two frames, there will be one character, and there we can see it happening. And that's basically how you create a typing animation. The problem though with this is we can't do a large chunk of text. We can't do second lines, we can't do a paragraph or anything like that. If we were to type in a long sentence in this text box right here, you would see that it only displays it on one line. We can't do second lines. So instead of using this text right here, we're actually going to import our own text document into Blender. 
To do this, open up a new folder and right click and create a new text document right here. I'll just name this text document animation. If we double click on this, we can go ahead and type in our own text. For example, I'll go with this right here. Hey, it's a typing animation. Pretty cool, right? And now we have different lines of text. If we go ahead and save this text document and then go back over to Blender, we can import that in by pressing Shift A. Underneath the text, we can go with File Reader. We'll place that here. If we then take the text and plug that into the text trim, we can select that file path by clicking on this button here. Once you have found the text document, select it and go choose path. Now you can see we have a full uh, paragraph just like this. Now if we restart the animation and play it, this is what it looks like. I think this is going a little bit too slow, so what we can do is over in the math node, I can switch this over to one, so for every one frame, there'll be one character. And there you go, so that is how you create different lines of text for your typing animation. And the cool thing about using this text file reader is it will update in real time. If I bring back my text document, I can just type in the word Blender or something like that, save it, go back, and there we can see it updated in real time. Now let's learn how to actually get rid of this once it's fully typed out. Before we do that though, I do want to cover this trim text a little bit more. We have two different things here. We have a start and the end. The end will actually add characters to the end of the text. As you can see here, it's adding it to the end right there. If we switch this over to start and bring this over to the start, we'll restart the animation and play it and you will see it's just that text and that is because the, the end right here is only set to seven characters. If we bring this up to like 100, We'll restart this and play it. You can see this is the effect that it's doing. It's getting rid of the text. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and then uncheck the start so it gets rid of it. Now that you know what the trim text does, let's go ahead and learn how to backspace all of this. To do this, we're going to select the trim, Shift D it and place it over here. Then we need to select the math node, the delay time and the time info and Shift D them and place them over here. If we then take the results and plug that into the trim text down here, and then we restart the animation and play it, you can see nothing has changed. It's still the same animation. So what we need to do is actually invert this math node. So instead of adding, it will actually take away. I'm gonna switch this over to invert right here. And then we also need to change the delay time. Right now it's a delay of 15, and so it's actually getting rid of the text before it adds it in. So we need to actually set the delay time to a much higher value. Let's try 130. So now if we restart the animation and play this, this is the effect that we're getting. Once it reaches a certain point, it will start to get rid of all of the text and backspace it. One quick thing about the delay time and the invert math node is this delay time is the end of the animation. You can see we can go over to frame 30 right here, and this is the end. It's not the start, it's the end of when it will all get deleted. And since we don't have a divide math node right here, for every one frame, it will get rid of one character. There is about 50 characters in total in our animation, so it's starting at frame 80 right here and then going for 50 frames and ending at 130. So you wanna keep that in mind. If this is set to a lower number, like let's say 100, it'll actually start to get rid of the text before it's fully appeared. So you can see if we play this, you can see it didn't type out pretty cool, it got rid of it before it completed the animation. So you want to make sure the delay is up high enough so it actually completes it. 130 works pretty good. The cool thing about using this method is the text is still a text object. So you can go over to the text panel and change all of these different settings. If you open up the geometry tab, you can add in an extrude value. And now we have some 3D text and it still works perfectly fine. You can also open up the font panel and click on this button here to add in your own font. If we go for this one, for example, we now have a different font and it works perfectly fine. The last thing that I'll show you in this video is how to add in different text once this text has gotten deleted. We can do this very easily by shifting this text. We'll leave it at text 001. And then we'll also get rid of this node tree and add in a new node tree right here. To make this easy, we're gonna go back to that first node tree, which is this one. I'm gonna press A to select everything, Control C to copy, then go back over to the second node tree, which is this one right here, Control V to paste in our nodes. Over in the text object output, we need to select that new text that we just created, which is this one right here. 
And then over in the delay time, we need to change a couple of settings. First off though, the text reader, we need to create a new text document with this second paragraph. So if we open up our folder, I'm gonna create a new text document just like this. And then for this text document, we're just gonna type in, this is the second paragraph and save that and then go back over to Blender. Over in the text file reader, we need to select that new text document, which is this one right here. We'll select it, choose path, and we can see it's working, but now we need to change the delay so it actually shows up at the correct time. We can see here it ends at frame 130, so let's give it 10 frames and then it will start here. So for the first one, this is when it adds the text. I'm going to set this to 140. And then for the delay time, when it gets rid of the text, we're gonna set this up to, let's try 250. So now if we restart the animation and play this, we can see it's typing out the full animation. It gets rid of it. And then the second one, and you can see it there. And then it gets rid of it at frame 250. And you can have as many text documents as you want and as many paragraphs as you want as well. So there you go. That is how you create a typing animation using animation nodes with multiple paragraphs and multiple lines. I know animation nodes can be a little bit confusing, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this panel right here so we can see this a little bit more clearly. I'm gonna go to the first node tree because that is the first one that we created. And let's go through this one more time so you understand it. The time info node takes the frame of the animation, which is delayed by 15, so the animation starts at frame 15. It goes through a math node, which controls how fast the text will appear. For this, it's set to one, so for every one frame, there'll be one character. We can change this if we want to, so if we set this to two, for every two frames, there'll be one character. This is plugged into a trim, which actually gets rid of the text or adds it in. The text file reader controls where our text document is and plugs that into the output. On top here, we have the time info. We have a delay. So this is when it will actually end the animation, which is into an invert. So it gets rid of the text instead of adding it in. That goes into a trim, which deletes it. And then that goes into the text object output, which actually changes the text for us to see. So there you go, guys. That is how you create a typing animation using animation nodes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial or you created your own animation, I would love to see it. So make sure to send it to me over on Instagram. Make sure you also click that subscribe button for more future Blender tutorials, and I will see you in the next one.